Hello everybody, welcome back to State of Decay 2 with me. I feel like I'm loading back into the community because I haven't played for a few days. And I also thought it was a bright idea to play like 5 or 6 or maybe 6 or 7 different games using different controller schemes at the same time. So bear with me while I just remind myself of the buttons of this one. Hey, it adds an extra layer of challenge if nothing else. And we just moved to the new base last time. It's a bit out of the way but it's also very big. And there's also a massive risk of a horde coming because I'm making so much noise while prepping everything. Now this gentleman's gun needs repaired. Do I have a repair place built yet? Uh, yes, it's inside. Oh yeah, it's the inbuilt one, the machine shop. Okay, so there's Sprint. Should be right here. This place is really starting to come together. Oh, you can actually craft weapon attachments? Oh, I don't have any of the the thingy, you know, the screw, whatever that's meant to be. I can break down a pile of weapons to, yeah, why not? All right, so we still need food, which is unfortunate. To see if a melee weapon, he has a bell club. I'm sure I can do you better than that. But yeah, generally I want to start thinking about how we actually, this is not where you draw things out, it's over here. How you actually reach kind of like a completion state here. I don't know if it's clear all the play cards. Hey neighbors, we're what's left of the old hospital staff. Yep, I know that. Medical skills to trade, if you're interested. Yeah, the thing he's equipped with is actually apparently very good in terms of like impact weapons. Yeah, I don't think one zombie needed four of you, but whatever. So our primary goal, yeah, it is clear play cards. That must be like you have to clear all the play cards and then something happens. Hunter wants a, a gym, he ain't getting that. External goals, shove to the unfinished house. Didn't I already befriend a bunch of doctors or am I thinking of the... No, they're doctors, aren't they? Could have sworn the remnants were also... Hmm. Well, either way, we'll be getting some food when we're doing that. We also need to upgrade some of these beds. We're already maxed out, so, you know, what the hell. Just make as much noise as possible. That'll solve the bed issue. As will with the barracks. Could someone lend a hand? Oxford is injured. So is Wiley Pete. Because they both got wrecked. Uh, let's see. So we need food. Might as well head out for some food. But also just kind of like in the long term. When we're not playing as somebody who's like a fresh faced newbie. We want to just kill more play carts. It's just... The main goal needs to be that. Oh, uh, that's a feral. Also, is this is Wiley Pete still following me? Oh, you only had one bullet. Nice. Oh, so Wiley Pete ran away? Not self, get Wiley Pete a weapon. Exhausted you, but you got him. Imagine what we could do if this place actually had power. It does have power, it's just not on right now. Doesn't it? Yeah. Sure, massive siege risk. What could possibly go wrong? But Hunter's gotta have his power, so why not? There we go. Construction tools enabled, whatever that means. Building a farm is completed, so I also want to start producing... Now, we don't have water to give this, because we have petrol. Plus 100% food per day, this facility for one hour. And now we have a total excess of beds. Three spare beds, good. Craft facility mods? Oh yeah, look at that. They require a ton of the screws though, like an absolute solar generator, here you say. A mini fridge. Hmm. Interesting. We've got like the full list of consumables as well. Thermite grenades? 
I can make them. Oh wait, no, I need knowledge of munitions. Never mind. Quick repair kit. So now I need screws. We haven't needed them for the whole damn time, but now I need like all of them. Can I just repair this from here? Nope. Oh, I'm nowhere near enough anyway. All right, well, I think we need a repaired car as well. So if possible, can I just like take the wreck that's out there? There's a toilet there. There is buildings up here. There's no way to tell what kind of buildings there are because there's no watchtower for me to look from. Which is also a little strange. It seems like the RNG didn't load one where there should be one. Oh, there's this car over here. Isn't this the one I took here and it's totally wrecked? No, it is actually just a wreckage. Is that a zombie behind me there? No, it's Wily Pete. I keep forgetting Wily Pete is following me. Oxford started to fight. Somebody needs to learn how to simmer down a bit. Now that I've got a place to stay, maybe it's time I found a turntable so I can play all this vinyl I've been collecting. Wily Pete, the victim of the recent fight, has traits that make him irritable. It's impossible for Wily Pete to have been the target of the fight. He was with me. Game. Shenanigans. So the only two cars we've got here are the two jeeps. I thought there was a third car in play here, but it's a wreck. It is a shame. I'm killing these zombies because one, they're right next to my base anyway, and two, he has no fighting XP. Although we'll just realize, again, stealth attacks are wits, so that will not be helping. I forget every time. You know what else I forgot every time? I didn't do a bloody watchtower. If we have an abundance of beds, I no, no, but I can't build a watchtower indoors. Although I guess I could get rid of a, get rid of a bed in there, bring say like the kitchen inside, and put a watchtower outside. Because we have too many beds, and we can upgrade the barracks. Six beds. Yeah, so we'll take away the kitchen there. I shouldn't be doing this while out in the middle of nowhere, but whatever. Build a kitchen. I don't want to build a gym, I want to build a watchtower to, to defend against all the bloody hordes I'm going to be getting. Alright, is there a car on this road? No. I'm just going to wander up the road then. What is that noise? Also, did Deirdre activate a side quest to... Yeah, she wants a turntable. That wasn't just like a throwaway joke. That's actually a side quest. That's a little strange. There's a lot of zombies surrounding here. It just spawns zombies around your base. Because I mean, part of the reason I wanted this base up here was that it's in the middle of nowhere. So I thought, ah, there's not going to be as many zombies around. In fact, that's a screamer up there. It could shoot it, but it would also draw attention of every zombie around. Oh, there's a car there. Oh yeah, isn't that where the ants camp was? So yeah, I left the car there. That's perfect. I will start moving faster in a second. It's just I want to get past all these zombies on both sides of me. This guy is not a fighter. Or a shooter. Or a runner. He has base stats, basically. He does have three painkillers on him. Oh, Oxford was fatigued. I wonder if that was partly why she was so irritated. Better drop that bloater before it gets too close. Yeah, there's a bloater over there. You're not wrong. I watched her finish real quick. So quick, I want to upgrade it. I think you get like a two day grace period or something when you change base until your abundance of supplies starts degrading again because it refunds everything that you used to build in the previous place. Oh, 
hopefully this area hasn't repopulated. It's still grey on the map, meaning it is searched, so in theory that should mean there's not an abundance of zombies. Although one, two, I see at least two. Also, no, this is the camp here. That's a working car, isn't it? Why isn't that on my radar? Also, why is the music so super tense? So that's just another working car over that way. No, this is what I marked. My marker was wrong. Uh, that zombie's a pirate. That zombie was definitely a pirate. You know, I saw a zombie earlier and thought it looked a bit weird. There might be some kind of event on, there was a pop-up on the map that said, like, new DLC available or something. I didn't get it, but if there's any kind of event on right now, that might explain why zombies are looking a bit different. Oh, so I just got a text message I need to reply to because it's from a plumber. As my water heater has a leak in it. But I'll wait till I'm safe. That, yeah, there's pirate zombies everywhere. Okay, this is going to be like some kind of shitty Sea of Thieves tie-in. Yeah, he's dressed as like an old-timey guy. Oh, you nerds. Instead of putting Sea of Thieves, Thieves rather, references in good games, you should work on adding a game to Sea of Thieves so that it's worth playing. So we've got ourselves a power station here and a factory across the way. We don't really need any of the materials on offer here. We were after food, but, you know. Hey, a lone zombie. That seems like free combat XP to me. One bit of combat gets him, uh, like, on the brink of exhaustion. Okay, you know. Uh, let me just see here. So that's upgraded Watchtower level 2. So that's reduced overall threat. That's what I wanted. How many material blocks we still got? I'm starting to get through them, honestly. Don't want to prefer feast. Alright, bear with me. Well, I'm just going in here to be safe. Uh, never mind, there's zombies in here. So much for that being safe. <laughs> Let's just pretend I never went in. No, never mind, they hurt me. They're all blood zombies too, right? Yeah, yeah, they are. If it was normal zombies, I would have fought them one at a time. Oh, I know that one's a normal zombie. Strange. Oh, he's getting mad. Bear with me. It's an important text. It's not me like just checking, oh, Pokemon Go news for my mother or something. Confirming how many days the work will take. It's already going to take a few days to order in the new cylinder. It's not a, like, there's not a massive leak. It's just, it's damp draining through from tiny, tiny holes. That apparently happened before I bought the house, and I did notice, like, a, an old damp stain on part of the roof. I was like, what caused that? And they were like, well, there was a leak a long time ago, but we got it fixed. I was like, okay. And then, like, two weeks ago... I looked up at the damp patch and I was, or where well, there used to be a damp patch, and I was like, there's a second patch there. I'm almost certain that there is a patch there that was not there before. Also, I've fully searched this. 
But then I thought, I, I convinced myself that I was seeing things and I was just wrong. And then, yesterday, I looked at it again and I was like, there's three damp circles there now. I am not imagining this. And then I got my stepladder out and touched around, kind of like, the ceiling there and it was damp. I was like, yep, okay, that's definitely not right. Oh, it's only one day of work, fantastic. So a few days for delivery and then one day's work. Because I'm just worried about Sora because she hates loud noises. So if there's people installing a boiler in my attic, not boiler, the water here, in my attic, she is going to go nuts at that. So I might just try and get my mother to look after her for a day or I'll go to my mother's house with Sora so my mother can sit in, you know, something like that just because I don't want her to get high strung. That's good, though. And it doesn't cost nearly as much as I was expecting. Because after how much I knew it cost to replace that bath when I first moved into this house, I was expecting much worse for uh, new water here. Mm, I like that. I don't like the way you say things, whatever your character's name is. There's one more thing to search apparently, but I don't see anything flashing, so therefore it must be either outside or on the roof. I hate that the zombies are spawning like literally right here, even though I cleared it. But hey, as long as it's one zombie at a time, that's fighting experience. don't see anything flashing from here, and I'd rather not deal with zombies in the pitch black because it's the worst thing to do. Now, speaking of which... Temporary storage is now protecting materials from decay. Or, sorry, is protecting materials from decay for now. We don't have very long. There. <laughs> my, my people were sleep deprived for approximately three seconds. So, you know, that better not have hit morale very much, otherwise I'm going to be very cross. Anyway, we'll take this stuff back as well as the car. I didn't agree to help you, Murdoch. Also, that's a very strange name for a lady. We've got two loads of building supplies. We do have room for them now, I think, that I've used a bunch to upgrade things. What else did I miss here? Transformers aren't secure. Get off the car. I mean, I just collided another body into you, so really, you should be... There you go. That one did it. Now, there is a bloater on this road. Be very careful. If we had running water here, we'd be living the good life. I mean, I do agree... But we've also got a bunch of other amenities that we didn't have at the previous base, so how about stop your bitching? Hmm? That's uh, Alright, we're immediately back to having too many. In that case, I'll just leave the other one in the car then. We're up to cheerful. Food is still an issue. There's this, what, this toilet place for medicine. How are we doing for medicine? Uh, we're doing okay-ish. And our next, the, the only problem with this base as well is the play cards I know about are so far away and I don't hey think I have enough. Right oh. Wait, 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 that's not us, thank goodness, that's some other people. I don't know where that radio call came from. About them getting sieged, them? Hmm. It sounds like a few zombies got in. Yeah, you lot got it. Yeah, I think I might change character. I could go to Deirdre and do her side mission. Because this guy is useless. Okay, running on it. I closed the door, it's fine. They can't possibly get in. It's too many people. 
Are more people asking for our assistance just because we're, like, sort of thriving? Actually, I will kill that screamer right outside, first of all. I also wanted to check, how much does it cost to locate... 350. Hmm. It's pretty expensive. I, I assume there's like four play carts left, maybe? There shouldn't be that many. Alright, anyway, let's change to the Audrey. She's not her, is she? Alright, she's lost one HP, but whatever. And she's got a bunch of food on her for some reason? I like that it made me get hit and I couldn't do anything about it because I was in the process of changing character. That's real good. Where did she get this bundle of food from? I mean, I needed it, so that's amazing. I'm just, I'm curious. I don't remember having food on her and being like, ah, I'll just leave it for later. No, she doesn't have a gun, so let's alleviate that issue. Um, the M17 with a improvised silencer. Nine millimeter rounds. I don't know the bullet types just by looking at them. It's 45 cal. Do I not have any 9mm in this file? I've got a 22 cal, 9mm, 99. Oh, she also has no health. Someone's in town with good stuff to trade. Do I have a bunch of stuff to trade away? No, one thing. Not a high priority then. This magazine and then I'm empty. I also hear something nasty. It's a juggernaut. Is it in my base? Like it is- no, it's outside, it's outside. It sounds like everybody's shooting. High ground is its weakness. Finish it! Finish it! Hey! Someone got it. No! Someone didn't get it. How the hell did it get inside? It can't fit through gates. It hit Dell by the looks of it. Um, I tried to close a gate and fell over. <laughs> and now I can't get past its corpse. Well, the people's already wounded. Oxford, I don't give a shit. Oxford is the first out if I ever need to reduce the number of people I have. Now, let's assume everything is fine. I've got a mission to go to. There's a bloody feral right outside as well. Why am I getting attacked by more things when I'm out in the middle of nowhere than when I was... Oh, I also need fuel. Getting distracted by a million things at once. Yeah, I'm getting attacked more now than when I was in the middle of nowhere. Uh, sorry, in the middle of the city, rather. That's the feral inside. No, no, it's not. It's just the doctor unable to kill one plague zombie. Good grief. Do I not have any spare fuel? I think I can, like, funnel some. Oh, I've got plenty. Nine bullets I need to do. That feral might aggro though, because they aggro from like 20 miles away. For no apparent reason, we're going we for a vinyl thin player. Out the infestations around here. No, we don't. It's a waste of resources. Play cards, on the other hand, I totally agree with. How can people drive at night? I mean, like in real life. My mother tries to avoid it whenever possible. I feel like I would be the same if I drove. Oh, come on, I almost did that nice and tightly. Which is also what she said, obviously. Alright, we're in lull country. I don't know if I want to... Yeah, that's definitely a pirate zombie. This? Get over here and help. We're getting killed. The Gleaners? I don't know where you were. I couldn't find you on the damn map.
Like it isn't here. I need some help. Hang on, I'm almost to you. Am I? <laughs> oh, it's someone who's here. Okay, this is part of a side quest. I like your face mask. Yeah, uh, yeah, I have to save your ass. So, uh, what are you doing in my shop? I thought the folks here had a music collection, but it's gone. Any chance you could help me get it back? I thought that's what I was looking for. Alright, this might be a potential new survivor to get with us then. Oh, here comes a pirate zombie. Nothing in here. Actually, you know what? They may be, they're dressed like redcoats, aren't they? It's not pirates at all. It's probably because 4th of July is coming up. Celebrate your independence by murdering British redcoats. Is that what it is? That's what it could be. All quiet now. All quiet now. You know, except for all the zombies. I don't see the other part of this building that's supposed to be explorable. All of a sudden, the courtyard is filled with zombies. Oh hey, if this was Fortnite, I could shove my friend around in this. Laundromat. I thought it was a restaurant. Do laundromats have food? She's fine, she's got it. Oh wait, I agreed to take her home with me? I, I don't remember agreeing to that. Also, that six space one, just drop that. Got plenty of them. Oh wait, no, I have to take her to her home, not my home. That's okay then. She doesn't die. Yet. Where is your home? Your home is up there. That is not so bad. Also, is there any food on the way I can loot for my home? No, I pretty much picked clean the last previous base and the surrounding area. It's this half of the map that's not so bad. Where the hell was that horde? Is it there? No, that's a trader. 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 Oh, the gleaners. There you go. I guess I could swing by there, assuming they're not dead by the time I drop off a survivor, see if they need help. Watch out, I saw a plague zombie. But there will probably be more to this quest, is the thing. Here come a whole lot of them. Wait. Kinda of glad I'm not at this base anymore considering it's surrounded by two hordes. I mean they do have piratey hats, but they probably are meant to be redcoats, right? Independence Day, etc. Here you go. Safe and sound. Thank you. So, no you live here alone? People back home don't understand the importance of music. Good to meet someone who does. So the basis of you doing this is purely because she likes music. Oh, that's good. I'm kind of hoping she has some food I can half inch. That means pinch, as in steel. Oh, this is her house. Why has she ran off into the wilderness? Because <laughs> she isn't in the house. Oh, wait, no, she is. She's just not showing up on the map. I think the map might be an incy wincy bit glitched out, though, because it's not zoomed in to show me which rooms 
I've explored and which I haven't. To secure it. Although I guess you can't secure it because it's someone else's base, but whatever. Anyway, yeah, I think we have enough fuel to head down to that people, or that location rather, where those people are getting sieged. Whether or not I'll be soon enough to help. You know what, if I'm not and assuming it accurately represents a hard, like, succeeding, there might be some human bodies there with loot. Time to move along. Can't do it. Me can't do it. Yeah, that's what I thought. So take the road back the way, and then I'll mark the new location. Because we are going Ah oh, crap, where was it? Dead by that base? Or is it too late? It may have vanished. I think it might be too late. Oh, hello there. Hmm. There seems to be an increase in special infected now. I just want to be able to stop for a second and read my map because that's so much to ask. Apparently, yes. I keep spawning zombies in. It was over by this old base, I think. Do I have a second to stop? Yeah. Okay. It wasn't down there, I remember pulling over here. So yeah, it looks like it did time out. I think it was down there. Okay, well. We need some ammo. It's more so food that's starting to become scarce, which is a little annoying, but we do need ammo as well. That car looks in better condition than the one I'm currently using. Oh, hang on, let's double check how much fuel it has first. Got nothing in the trunk. It's basically the same, it's just got more storage space. Um, let's do endurance. So yeah, if I go there for ammo, I can actually take that like dirt road there to get back. Ah, there's potential ammo and food up there. It's off. So yeah, we'll grab this food and ammo, and then head back to base again. And then that's probably going to do it for this one. And then next time, assuming I have enough explosives, it's probably time to go after another play car. So I would like to work out, like, what's our end game here. Because I don't know. Oh yeah, it's a gun shop. Are we still working on that project together? Nope. Right? Can you get these jerks to stop threatening me every time I walk past their house? 
Oh, that's a follow-up sheriff quest, so that's good too. What do you need? Piss off. No, I attacked. I didn't press anything else. Threatening, you're just annoying. Put oh, another gun. Done. There's a loud noise coming from that place across the way, but I think there's a horde there, so that's maybe why. Gotta keep room for food though, that's the thing. We do need ammo, especially now that I've got a watchtower, but food is important too. Nothing in here. I just have to do a partial clear of this place. I thought I saw a glowy thing here. Hmm. That is unsettling noises coming from across the way, so no wonder they get demoralized if there's a lot of infestations. Because the noise they make is spooky. I'm on my last magazine. He has a pistol that can hold a lot of bullets in the clip. Ooh, a carbine rifle. Gee, I think I just took a stack of one bullet. Yeah, drop that. Not finding the ammo resource though, which was the main thing I was kind of looking for. Not bad at all. There we go. Still have one space. No more Z's in here. Still a container I haven't searched, I could have sworn I saw it over. Ah. Is that a screamer in the street? Bada dee da day. <laughs> Alright, I need to go up there for food and then get back to base. This is running on a little bit, because I keep on losing track of time when I play this. But doing this now means that next episode is going to be a daytime one. It means I can get more done, honestly, because I can see what I'm doing. That is the turn off I need. Less a turn off and more dirt track, but whatever. Knock it down, finish it off. I was trying to, but its feet kicked you as it fell. <laughs> I have already been here at some point and cleared out one of two containers. So I'm going to assume the one I missed is up here because I didn't know at the time. Yeah. But I may already have taken the food out of here. That's the only problem. I don't know. I mean, we do need those. Anybody out there want to give me a hand here? No room for that. Nine shotgun shells. I mean, that's a good amount of shells, but I think we have quite a few. All right, let's get out of here. There was no food, unfortunately. I was just thinking. Oh, there's a bloater dead ahead of me. We want this road. 
I was just thinking we didn't hear back from those people who wanted to help with the art. Like complaining that we didn't help them probably means they didn't live to complain. That's why they suddenly vanished. So they didn't leave the area because we didn't help them. They left the area because they're in zombie stomachs. You know, it happens. Anyway, what we do, we might do for next time is we might change to uh, our leader. What's his name again? Morrison? It's Muir in the other save file. I've just forgotten what it is in this one. Or Sheriff, either way. Handle the Sheriff business. Then immediately also go take out a play cart. Because we have enough fuel. This car will last like a few zombie crushes. Yeah, we rolled over to the eight. That means some of our resources ticked down, unfortunately. If the farm needs to be done again, I should definitely do that while I'm minding. still kicks in even if they're at point blank and I've turned it off. You just feel your crosshair getting dragged. It's very frustrating. Alright, anyway, we're back. I'm just going to do some minor inventory management and then change to whomever and that's where we'll pick up next time. Until then, thank you for watching and ta-ta for now.